Hi, I'm Jay. I'm a clinical hematologist at Glen Eagles Kuala Lumpur. I look after patients with a wide variety of hematology diseases that include both benign disorders and uh, malignant disorders. Multiple myeloma is a cancer of our plasma cells and these are special type of immune cells that normally live in the bone marrow. So we can probably best describe it as a bone marrow cancer. We can have very tiny populations of these cancerous plasma cells in our body for many, many years without having any symptoms or without requiring any treatment. But eventually they will grow to a number large enough to start to make us feel unwell. And when this occurs, uh, we will require treatment and this stage is called active or symptomatic myeloma. Uh, multiple myeloma can cause low blood counts resulting in anemia and fatigue. It can cause bone damage that results in bone pain or fractures. Some individuals develop kidney impairment or severe kidney failure and immunity will become weakened and this can result in recurrent or severe infections. The normal job of our plasma cells is to make antibodies or immunoglobulins to help protect us against infection. In multiple myeloma, the abnormal cancerous plasma cell continues to secrete large amounts of antibodies. But these antibodies are not useful. They do not protect us against infection. Uh, on the other hand, they actually accumulate in the blood and can lead to organ impairment. They can lead to us feeling fatigued, tired, kidney impairment, and as a result of that, be more prone to infections. So these antibodies are non-functional. However, they do serve one purpose in our treatment. We can detect their presence and that helps us prove that an individual has myeloma and over a period of treatment we can measure how the level of these antibodies change and this will help us decide if the treatment is working and whether the individual is improving with treatment or not. Blood tests, urine tests, imaging in the form of x-rays, CT scans or PET CT scans are important to help us make a diagnosis of myeloma. In addition, doing a bone marrow biopsy also helps us confirm the diagnosis and gives us more information about the biological behaviour of a particular individual's disease to help predict how they will respond to treatment. Over the course of a patient's treatment journey, some of these tests need to be repeated so that we can assess their response to treatment or sometimes to help us identify when the disease has relapsed after a period of time. Once we confirm a diagnosis of active myeloma, we like to start treatment as soon as possible. This is to prevent any further worsening of organ damage, which if we don't arrest as quickly as possible, sometimes cannot reverse. There are many drugs available uh, today to treat myeloma and uh, we have to tailor the treatment to every individual as much as possible. Well, myeloma is usually managed by the haematologist. Uh, however, we work very closely with the kidney specialists, orthopedic specialists, as well as physiotherapists who help us to uh, rehabilitate a patient who may have bone disease. And we try very much to work as closely as possible with the patient's GP in order to optimize their outcomes. Uh, I guess the important thing to remember is not to ignore any symptoms which are persistent and severe and don't go away. Uh, have it checked out with your GP and if they pursue your symptoms and evaluate you carefully, the diagnosis will usually be made in time for appropriate treatment to start.